Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. And in honor of that, I'm going to eat 5,000 habaneros. Nah, I'm just joking. But that would be an insane video, wouldn't it? I would probably die, honestly. Would you actually die if you ate 5,000 habaneros? Anyways, what I'm actually going to do for the 5,000 subscriber special is I had Kevin make me this custom 3D printed number five fishing lure. I think it looks pretty sick. Kevin says the action is going to be terrible and that I'm not going to catch fish on it, but we're going to prove him wrong, take out to the lake right now, and try to catch me a fish. Okay, all I have to say is that Kevin was right. This thing is terrible. It doesn't swim. It, it kind of just, I'm dragging it through the water. That's about it. That's just how it's gonna go. But we're gonna try to catch a fish on it regardless of how it swims. That doesn't matter. The point is, it's a five and we're gonna try to catch a fish on it. Yeah, never mind. honestly, I mean, it's not as bad as I initially thought. Once I actually get some distance out there, it swims a little bit better. I only have about an hour to fish and it's pretty cold and windy. So we'll see how it goes, but it just did rain a lot. So that might be turning the bite on, possibly. I don't really know. Yeah, it honestly swims pretty well. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can feel the rattles in there. It's looking like a nice lipless crankbait to me. So Kevin, I would say that your evaluation of the lure is not as bad as you initially thought. And not as bad as I initially thought. Oh my gosh, I had a bite. I just had a bite. Legit just had a bite. I'm not even joking. No freaking way. We might make this work. I'm starting to gain some more confidence. Because it's, it, it's all about the confidence, you know? It's all about the confidence. It's all about confidence, okay? All about confidence. Okay, I'm, I'm already soaked just by kayaking a little bit. This is a fun day. It's a fun day for sure. At least it's not terribly cold. It's only like 55 degrees, which isn't terrible. You may ask, why did I even come out today? Because why not? We're gonna make this 5K subscriber special video an interesting one. So we're gonna fish in some rough elements and just do what Bass Bros does best. Be stupid. Oh, there's fish. I got, oh, do I have him? Is he still on? No, he came off. No shot, I actually just had a fish. I legit just had a fish, I'm not even joking. Oh no, a wave just crashed right into my seat. Now my butt is full of water and it's freezing. Oh no, I'm soggy. I got soggy buns, dude. Oh, there's a fish. Oh my gosh, I have a fish. Legit, I have a fish. No freaking way, dude. I'm the five. Oh my gosh, that's actually a big one. That's actually a decent smallie, I think. Just because he's jumping a ton and he's digging a lot. Dude, please don't come off, man. That's actually a decent, that's a decent smallmouth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, that's actually. Okay, now I'm starting to get nervous because that's actually like, that could like, I'm not even gonna say it. That might be one of the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. It might be, it really might be. Oh my goodness, please don't come off. Get, guys, that, that actually might be my biggest smallmouth ever. That might be. Please don't come off. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. I don't believe what just happened. Oh my gosh. On the 5,000 subscriber special. <laughs> that might be my PB smallmouth. That legit might. My previous was four pounds, two ounces. We're gonna see if he goes bigger than that, but oh my goodness gracious. Dude, I literally might have just caught my PB smallie on this thing. Look at that. <laughs> there's no way. No, I got, no, there's no way. It says two pounds, 12 ounces, guys. I don't believe that. I mean, unless I'm just over-exaggerating it, but that thing is super long. I don't understand, but he's not the fattest fish in the world, but he's so long. That has to be at least three. There's no way that's a 212. This scale is, this scale is funky. I'm gonna blame the scale. Okay, here we go. Came out to the garage. We got a five pound plate. Now let's test the scale out real quick. All right. Came out to five pound, two ounces. So the scale is actually right, sort of. It's a little bit on the higher end, which doesn't help my case here. Anyways, I don't know why I thought that bass was so much bigger than it was, but we're just gonna continue with the video. 
All right, guys, I'm still in disbelief. That doesn't look like a 212 Smalley right there. It looks like really long, but I don't know. We're gonna let him go though. I appreciate the bite. I accomplished all I wanted to accomplish today. I just wanted to catch one fish on that thing and I'd be satisfied. Now I'm just gonna take a moment and relax, enjoy this nice sunset on this chill, windy fall evening. But that doesn't matter because all that matters is that we're spending time in God's creation and just taking in all that he made for us. And also we're gonna keep fishing though, just in case I catch another fish. Oh my gosh, did you just see that? Oh, he got it, he got it, it's a pike. Oh my gosh, he came back for it. No, <laughs> what just happened? Dude, no way. What the heck just happened? Dude, dude, that was probably, uh, I'm just in shock. That's a massive pike though. That is literally a massive pike. What is going on tonight, dude? Oh my goodness! <laughs> dude, 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 dude. Oh my gosh, what? That, what? <laughs> <laughs> that is a massive pike. That is literally a giant pike. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can land them. I don't want them breaking my line though. Because this is a pretty cool custom made lure. And I don't want it going away. But that was probably one of the coolest eats I've ever had. Like dude jumped at it out of the water. Missed the bait. And I just set it back in the water by my kayak. And he came back for it. He legit came back for it. And just crushed it. Let's see if I can grab him here. Oh my gosh, that's literally, yep, that's it. That's it guys, that's it right there. That's my kayak paddle got in the way, but I was about to, I was about to land him. And then, nope, didn't do that. And now he's gone again. And now he zooted off. Okay, this is literally insane. This is insane right now. I, this guy is just peel and drag. Like I said, I got 10 pound test here. Or, no, not 10, 15. But still, I don't want him breaking it. Oh my gosh. That might be my biggest pike too. I don't know exactly how big my biggest pike was, but if I get a nice measurement on him, then I'll have my official pike PB, because this is definitely it. All right, come here, mate. You need to come on this side. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna land him. I'm gonna try to grab him here try to grab him all right yep oh my goodness gracious guys dude what the heck did i just catch look at the size of that pike right there dude that is insane i gotta get a measurement on him right now nope don't flop don't you dare flop just look at that look at the size of that thing oh my goodness nope don't go nope and he's gone. He's in the water. I didn't get to measure him. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. But he was literally like here to like, I have somewhat of a gist of the length he was. But I really, say he was, if I had to guesstimate, he was probably 34 inches. So we're going to go with that. Say 34 inches. That's wild. I knew he was gonna flop in the water, but there's no other way I could do it. I really wish someone else came out with me tonight. That would have been a lot uh, easier to do. What a way to celebrate 5,000 subscribers, guys. I don't even know what's going on tonight. I wasn't even planning on fishing, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Just wanna give glory to God for that though. Just thank him for everything that he does. It's just all the glory goes to him always. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Dude, what just happened? I thought I felt a bite, but apparently I actually did. Dude, that is just too funny. Look at that little thing. What the heck? I thought I felt the bite, but I was like, nah, it's just weeds. And you know, just kept reeling it in. And apparently I actually had a little fish. Now, if that ain't the cutest little bass you ever did see. Anyways, I'm just gonna let him go. See you later, little dude. It's getting dark, it's getting cold. I'm at the shoreline, so we're gonna call it a day here. Well, what a day that was. The weather was absolute crap, but we caught some good fish. That's what you just love to see. But in all seriousness, I actually really do appreciate all of your guys' support for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. I mean, this is a milestone I've been trying to reach for quite some time now, and it finally just came to pass. 
And I just really cannot thank you guys enough for all the support that you show on my videos, the likes, comments, and everything. It's just, it truly means the world to me, each and every one of you that watch my videos. I just want to thank you all personally so much. And it really does make my day every time I get to read your comments and just see you guys enjoying my content. It really does just mean the world to me. So let's just see where this continues to go. 10,000 subscribers at the end of next year, possibly. I guess that's going to be my next goal, my next milestone, 10K at the end of next year. If you guys think we can do that, just smash the thumbs up right now. And if you have any more crazy lures that you want to see Kevin 3D print, I'm sure he'd be up for the challenge. Just drop a comment down below. I'm sure Kevin will see the comments and get to printing that lure, at least he better. And not be lazy and make me some lures to have more content with. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion.